You know, the last month I've kind of thought to myself, I wonder if the developers of MLB The Show still like me because I have been very critical of this game and rightfully so. The last gameplay that I posted, there was fielding animation errors. There was perfect PCI where the ball just did not go anywhere, not even to the warning track. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and eliminate the things that make me rage. So we're going to turn off the PCI for today. We're going to use the God Squad. I actually have two brand new players, Pablo Sanchez at catcher, and then we have Todd Helton. I've been using him as of late. He's been absolutely insane. I think I might have found my first baseman of the future. And then we're going to put Juan Soto back in left field just because he's Juan Soto. Also, they just came out with new free packs. Happy holidays. There's a brand new bat skin. So go get that right now. You have a month to do it, but do it today. So we are the home team in today's video, and we are going up against another guy squad. He's got Luis Castillo on the bump with Acuna, Walker, Hornsby, Ortiz, LeMayhew. He's got Reggie Jackson, his cap, and then Travis Darno. In the comment section down below, I want you all to let me know what is the biggest issue with MLB The Show, or if you have a couple different issues, please. I need to know because I might be coming out with a video the biggest issues of MLB The Show 20. If you want to see that, leave a like on today's video because it, it might be a long one. That's right down the middle. That is right down the middle. What am I thinking? Get their Trout. Come on. 90 speed is just enough. Whew. Okay, maybe Mike Trout in right field is the move. I'm guaranteeing a strikeout. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, Should I have dove? Do you think I would have caught that? Yo, I'm going to keep it real with you guys. Denilson Lamette from the stretch is 100% better than when he's actually doing a windup. He's just so... Okay. What? And we're going to go with another strikeout. I'm not sure how good this guy is. I did not get a chance to take a look at his record, but that was a really bad swing. It looks like me from 2014. Plate coverage indicator, aka PCI, has been turned off. We're going to apply these changes. Could you imagine if we end up hitting like a god and not raging? That would be perfect. That is not the best start. Well, one thing I wish that we could do is turn off the bottom left as well. The actual feedback, I don't want to see it. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I have a sticky note. I'm going to put it on the screen right now, okay? There we go. I'm not even looking at it. So this is completely no PCI. That is a bomb for Mike Trout. There's no way that is not leaving the yard. Oh, it's going to be a fly out. I'm so happy I can't see my PCI because I felt like that was pretty good. Now, you will be able to see my PCI so you can see how good I'm doing or how bad I'm doing, but I can't see anything. So far, the uh, no PCI squad is... This is tough. I really don't like this. Yo, the diving in this game, honestly, is the worst... Let's not finish the sentence. He's going to get a triple. What the? He's going to get a suicide squeeze. Are you joking? That is the only way that this man is going to score. With me messing up with my fielding and then him suicide squeezing. I don't... Was that better PCI than Mike Trout? Can you guys let me know? That's an amazing pitch. We're striking out with Lindor. Am I going to be able to score a run? There we go. Back up the middle. I'm going to try and... Nope. Acuna has a 99 arm. We are not going anywhere. There we go. Pablo Sanchez in his very first at bat is coming in massive with a three run bomb off Luis Castillo. I'm not going to lie. With those cleats and the short pants, he's looking swag. He's got the chain. He just popped it like Domingo Ayala. Let's see if Todd Helton can come in huge. Todd Helton to the left side. How's my PCI looking, everyone? It's looking fantastic. Back-to-back -back bombs from the two brand new players in today's God Squad. Is he quitting? Wait. Whoa. I think he just quit. I'm almost certain he just quit the game. Thank you, baby Jesus. As you can see, it gave me the win. Dennis Lamette is 2-1 with a 7.88 ERA. I mean... That's actually not too bad considering Luis Castillo was at 20.25. So we saw that no PCI worked in ranked seasons. Let's see if it works in Battle Royale because BR makes my brain want to explode. We are the home team yet again, so that means we're playing at Shippet Stadium. He's got a pretty good squad. Pablo Lopez with Albis, the 99 Candelario. I've heard some great things about that card. Adam Dunn, Aaron Judge, Daniel Murphy, Mitch Garver. That's a full-blown God Squad if we're talking BR. What's his record? 143 and 133, so he's not bad. Why do people do this? Why do... 
Thank you for listening. I was going to say, why do people load into a game that they're not ready to play? Oh, who's in center field? I think that's Aaron Hicks. Ozzy Albies is going to come away with a leadoff triple if the animations don't work. Oh, they actually did work. Throw it. Witt's got a noodle arm. Yes. That was, if that's how MLB The Show 21 works, I'll be happy. Speaking of MLB The Show 21, also that was a fantastic take. When are we going to get some news? I know they posted on Twitter a couple weeks ago that they were going to release some news in 2021. Well, it's December right now, December 15th, so we're halfway through December. I'm, I'm anxiously waiting for a cover athlete reveal. That ball was smoked as well. This guy is kind of getting screwed. But where is the MLB 21 news? I need that in my life. That is the only thing I want for Christmas. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, it does look like Adam Dunn, but almost like Walmart Adam Dunn. He looks a little funny. Marcus Stroman is carving people up, and we're gonna make the play. Yo, that guy actually smashed baseballs that inning, and he did not get one run out of it. Maybe he should think about turning off the PCI as well, because he's probably steaming. Ooh, oh, that, that one looked pretty good. It felt good. I got the buzz from the controller. If I had to guess, I'm pretty sure that was perfect, perfect. Oh, wait, please stay fair. No, nope. we're a little bit uh, out in front on that one. I know that because it went foul. If that one was better. Whit Merrifield has three power. I don't know if that's, I mean, everyone's moving, so there has to be a home run. I am thinking that as long as you have a good mindset and you, you know that this game is going to mess up from time to time, no PCI seems to be the move. Ah, that's not going to go anywhere. All right, well, definitely missed that one. Adam Dunn is going to make the play. Oh, there we go. Kurt Suzuki is going to get hosed. I don't know who his third baseman is, but that was a pretty good play. Not a web gem, but it's all right. But so far, through the first game that we played in ranked seasons and BR, the no PCI challenge is looking pretty good. Let's go. Not many times do I get to strike people out in BR because the PCI is always so big. That's, that's a miracle. And then right on cue, I uh, jinx myself, I strike out Aaron Judge, and then I give up a moonshot to Daniel Murphy. And he cuts it to a one run, okay. Ian Happ destroys right-handed pitcher, so we're gonna go ahead and bring in Rowenis Elias, Elias? How do you say his name? Throw him out, throw him out, uh, Conforto. I missed the throw, he gets there in time anyways. There we go, the final out of the top of the second is gonna be a pop-up to Aaron Hicks. I was a little bit scared because Renato Nunez does have sneaky pop. We need to score some more runs because this guy is coming for me. I will say though, even though the no PCI challenge is somewhat working, I don't know if I like it more than having a PCI. Like for whatever reason, I'm a little bit anxious. I just don't like change as he brings in Keone Kella. It's just weird not having anything to look at. There we go. Corey Dickerson right on cue is shutting me up and proving that not having a PCI is probably better. I cannot be swinging at that. Can't be swinging at pitches and pretty much giving him free strikes. That is 100% my fault. Let's go. What an awful sequence of events. And I, I, I felt like that was pretty good. Maybe if anything, my timing was off. You'll have to let me know or when I'm editing, I'll have to see. But that felt pretty good. And it's an out. Who is that? It's a lefty. Who is that? Was Victor Reyes? I don't know who that is. I'm thinking he just brought in the wrong person on accident because that is as Drupal Cabrera. So we're going to probably bring in someone else. Yeah, the next three hitters all destroy left-handed pitchers. So yeah, Will Harris, welcome to the game, bud. As long as he doesn't do what he did against Howie Kendrick in the uh, 2019 or 2018 World Series, we should be fine. And he brings in his third pinch hitter of this at bat. This person is very, very patient. And then there's a curveball in the zone. Just misses. How am... How is Will Harris already out of energy? Where well, he's in the yellow already. It's been three pitches. And I think we walked him. <laughs> oh no, we're gonna choke this. <sighs> if that's anyone but Ozzy Albies, that might be a home run. Jamir Candelario, he still has insane power versus righty, so we're gonna have to be careful and make some pitches count because I am terrible right now. He is taking everything. I get that one to get in there. The only problem is I can't bring in anyone else because of the three batter minimum. Almost peed a little bit on that swing. We have two down. So I don't have any left-handed reliever, so I'm gonna do a mound visit, bullpen. We're gonna bring in, wait, yeah, uh, Martin Perez. Adam Dunn has that. Yeah, we're gonna bring in Martin Perez on half energy because I need the matchup. 
Okay, two strikes. I just got my final multiplayer hold. He's got two strikes on him. As I just said, he hits the pause menu. He's trying to disrupt my timing. And he brings in Hunter Pence, which is... He's, he's pretty good versus lefties. Mm, that is very unfortunate. I wish he would have left in Adam Dunn because now I have to face Aaron Judge. Is he taking out Aaron Judge? He's taking out Aaron Judge. This is his fifth pinch hitter of the inning. He's used every single one. Taylor Trammell? Why? I don't know why he just did that. He just took out Aaron Judge for a left-handed bat. Makes absolutely no sense, but we get the W. We get win number one in ranked seasons and we stay flawless in Battle Royale, so hey. Maybe if you want to try out the no PCI challenge, it could work for you. I don't know if I'm a big fan just yet. I'm going to keep playing it offline and see if I like it. But so far, so good. We were 2-0 in today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe out there. Peace out.